In this video, let's take a look at how you can access trending models on the Clarify platform, how to run them using the playground and how to call them via the API. This is what the homepage looks like once you sign up to the platform. Here is the trending AI model section, which includes some of the latest models available. Our research team continuously adds new models to the platform. Uh, for example, you can just see we have the DeepSea Carbon, Lama 3.2, 5.4, Mini CPM, Quen, and also we have the latest Lama 4 models available on the platform and also OpenAI released their latest reasoning models O3 and O4 Mini even those models are available on the platform. You can also find many other models within the community tab under the model section you can explore that. Now let's take a look at the compute setup uh, from the home page itself you have the flexibility to configure your own compute. You can start with basic options NVIDIA 810G. You can create a dedicated compute using uh, the 810G or go for more advanced options like L40S. You can even create your own dedicated compute cluster using your own cloud provider. Clarify supports AWS, GCP, Oracle, Vulture and many more providers are coming soon. So once you set it up, you can deploy your models directly to your own compute. You will be able to view all the compute clusters that you have created here including the node pools, the providers, the regions where you have deployed, the instance type, the cost, and all the details. For developers, here's how you can quickly get started using one of the models. We offer SDKs that lets you run models with just a few lines of code. For instance, if you want to use the DeepSea Carbon model or Llama 3.2, you can simply select the model, copy the code snippet, and you can integrate this model into your own application. We also have resources and quick start guides that helps you to get started with the platform. You can just check them out here. Also here is the list of all my resources like my apps, uh, my models, the workflows, data sets and everything. You can also configure this home page based on your preference. Uh, you can see from here you can add or remove the sections that you want to. And now let's head to the playground. This is where you can test and interact with any of the available models. Simply click on test in playground. And from here you can just switch between the models. Whichever you just want, you can just switch between the models and you can just try them out. We have got uh, Jama 3, Mini CPM, Quen 5.4, uh, GPT-4, Pixtrel, Claude. As I just mentioned, the latest reasoning models from OpenAI, O4 Mini and O3. We also got Grok3. Let's try the OpenAI's latest O4 Mini model. I'll just give a prompt. Write a poem on AI. And I'll just send it. And it's, you can see just, just given the response. You can also notice that the model streamed the response. You can also turn off the streaming mode if you prefer static response. And let's, let's try to give another prompt. What are AI agents? And you can see the model streams the response. Now let's try a multi-model model as well that can take both text and image inputs. The Google's Gemma 3 is a good multi-model model which can take both text and it can able to understand uh, images as well. So I just selected the model, I will pass in an image. I have uploaded an image of a GitHub repo and I will just ask it to generate a markdown file. Can you generate a markdown file based on the image? I just passed an image and I will just ask it to generate a markdown file. You can see it has given the markdown file. You can just simply copy it from here. Yeah, you can able to understand images. For example, let's say if I ask, what's this repo used for? Yeah, you can see it just explains what, what this GitHub repo does based on the image that we have provided. And you can, you can just use this model as well if you would like to uh, use for multimodal use cases. On the right hand side of the playground, you can tweak parameters like uh, maximum tokens, 
uh, the temperature and top p values the settings help you fine tune the model's output whether you want more creativity shorter responses or stricter sampling in terms of how you want your response so you can just play with these parameters here for example let's say i can just uh, change the maximum to uh, tokens to 100 and let's say 100 and i just ask what's this repo since we just set the maximum tokens as 100 you can see we just only got that here as an output so that's how you can just tweak your parameters from here uh, the max tokens temperature and top e values based on your use case you can also access these models uh, via the api version just click on the api tab here and from here you can just simply uh, copy the code by default it's the python sdk you can just directly copy the code from here and you can just directly integrate into your own applications or if you prefer another language you can just switch between here for example let's say javascript java node.js curl or php maybe if i just select node.js you will be getting the code snippet for that and you can just simply copy and integrate into your app so that's how you can easily access the model via the api and also if you just notice from here all these models are deployed on clarify shared compute where we pin high performing models to reduce latency and cold starts but if you'd prefer you can just deploy any of these models to your own dedicated compute instances which we will just see how to do it in the next video so that's all for this video see you in the next video